History is littered with some wild and weird facts, from the comical and ridiculous to the outright unbelievable. Today, we're listing off 25 of history's most unusual deaths. Let's count them down. Number 25. Hans Steininger, 1567. Killed by his beard. Steininger had a very long beard that he tucked away. One day, during a fire, he forgot to tuck it back up in a panic. He then tripped on it and broke his neck. Number 24. Aeschylus, 455 BCE. Killed by a falling tortoise. An eagle was flying overhead this father of Greek tragedy, with a tortoise in its grip. It mistook Aeschylus's bald head for a rock to break open the tortoise's shell, and dropped it on him. Number 23. Franz Reichelt, 1912. Fell to his death. This French inventor leapt from the Eiffel Tower with a self-proclaimed parachute coat. Parachute it was not. Number 22, Archduchess Matilda of Austria, 1864, died hiding a cigarette. Matilda was forbidden to smoke. She was having a sneaky cigarette where her father couldn't see. Her father, though, suddenly arrived. She hurried to hide the cigarette behind her, setting her highly flammable gauze dress ablaze. Number 21, Charondas, 6th century BCE, suicide. A Sicilian lawgiver, Charondas, had decreed that anyone carrying a knife into the political assembly must be executed. He went out hunting and forgot that he had left his knife in his belt, so he killed himself. Number 20, Clement Vallanigham, 1871, shot himself proving that he could accidentally shoot himself. The Lanningham was a lawyer defending a murder suspect. In an attempt to demonstrate that the victim could have shot themselves accidentally and died, he shot himself accidentally and died. His client was cleared of all charges. Number 19. Heraclitus, 575 BCE, died after covering himself in cow dung. This famous Greek philosopher developed a painful condition known as dropsy. Heraclitus figured the best way to shed all the pesky fluid in his legs would be to cover himself in cow dung. He spent a day lying prone in the sun drying off the poop and apparently died in the act. Number 18, Attila the Hun, 453, drowned by a nosebleed. On the eve of celebrating his marriage to his latest wife, Attila got blind drunk. At some point, his nose began to bleed severely. He aspirated on his blood in his drunken stupor. Number 17. Edmund II, or Edmund Ironside, 1016, stabbed in the butt. Seven months after being crowned, Viking King Edmund II needed to relieve his bowels. Unbeknownst to Edmund, an assassin was hiding below in the king's cesspit, ready with a knife to stab him where the sun doesn't shine. Number 16. Pope Adrian IV, 1159, killed by a fly. The only English pope is said to have died of an infection caused by a fly. The story goes that a fly was swimming in his wine. It lodged itself in the back of his throat and couldn't be removed. Number 15. Sir William Payne Galloway, 1881. Killed by a turnip. A couple of days before this man's death, he was out shooting in the parish of Bagby, UK. According to sources, he fell onto a turnip which gave him severe internal injuries. Fatal, actually. Number 14. Frank Hayes, 1924, died winning a horse race. This New York jockey had never won a race in his life. That is until one fateful day in June when he suffered a cardiac arrest in the middle of a race. His horse continued with him dead on its back 
eventually winning. Number 13. James Betts, 1667. Death by Cupboard. A certain Elizabeth Spencer liked to be entertained by a certain James Betts, much to the anger of Elizabeth's father. One day, whilst doing the do, her father's coach could be heard outside. Betts hid inside a cupboard and couldn't risk being found, so he waited for her to let him back out. Betts suffocated in the process. Elizabeth didn't actually come back for weeks. She opened the door and he flopped out. Number 12. King Adolf Frederick of Sweden, 1771, ate himself to death. King Adolf died of digestion problems after eating a colossal meal of lobster, sauerkraut, caviar, smoked herring, champagne, and 14 servings of semla, a dessert served in a bowl of hot milk. Number 11. Empedocles, 430 BC, jumped into an active volcano. This philosopher assumed himself to be a god and wanted to prove it to everyone. So he decided to leap into Mount Etna. Number 10. Draco, 620 BCE, suffocated by hats and coats. Draco was an Athenian lawmaker who you'll recognize from the term draconian. In Athens, it was a customary show of respect to cover someone in clothing. But too much of anything can be bad. Number 9. Basil Brown, 1974 CE, killed by carrot juice. Basil died from damage to his liver through hypervitaminosis, an abnormally high level of vitamins. He figured it was a good idea to drink, in 10 days, over 38 liters of carrot juice. This equates to about 70 million units of vitamin A. Also, the sheer mass of juice turned his skin bright yellow. Number 8. Queen Sunanda Kumaratana, 1880. Died because nobody was allowed to save her. This queen of Siam and her unborn daughter died in 1880 after a royal boat capsized. It was the capital offense for anyone to touch the queen, even to save her life. So nobody dared to. Number 7. Sophocles. 406 BCE, suffocated because he wouldn't shut up. The most surreal account of Sophocles' death is that he suffocated reading aloud the end of his play, Antagony. The ending of this play has a rather long and drawn out monologue. Sophocles didn't take a breath for the whole speech and then keeled over. Number 6. Sigurd the Mighty, 892 killed by a severed head. Sigurd was taking the head of a nobleman he had defeated back to his home. It was roped to his horse. Whilst bouncing down the road on horseback, the head's buck tooth lodged itself into Sigurd's leg, giving him a fatal infection. Number 5. Chrysippus. 206 BCE. Died laughing at a donkey. This Greek philosopher is said to have perished after witnessing a donkey eating his figs. He had told a servant girl to offer the donkey some wine to wash the figs down with, and died laughing at the idea. Number 4. 22 Bostonians, 1919, killed by a tidal wave of molasses. In Boston, Massachusetts, 1919, a tanker storing 2.3 million U.S. gallons of molasses ruptured, spilling its entire contents into the street. According to some, the tidal wave of sweetener was 25 feet high and traveling at least 35 miles per hour. Number 3. The entire Bonnie Shoddy soccer team, 1998, struck by a single bolt of lightning. In 1998, Congo's eastern province of Kasai, Bonnie Shadi were playing against the visiting team, Basanga. At some point during the game, a bolt of lightning flashed across the pitch. It killed every single one of the 11 players for Bonnie Shadi. 
none of the opposing team were seriously harmed. Number 2. Dozens in Strasbourg, 1518, danced to death. In July 1518, for no apparent reason whatsoever, a woman named Frau Trafia took to the streets of Strasbourg and began a wonderful jovial dance. She danced and danced and danced and continued to dance for another solid six days straight. After a week, she was joined by some 34 other townsfolk. After a month, the dancing fever had struck nearly 400 people, with as many as 15 dying per day due to exhaustion, heart attacks, or strokes. Nobody knows the cause of what is now affectionately called the Dancing Plague. Number 1. Grigory Rasputin, 1916, assassinated, eventually. Rasputin was a divisive figure. A plan was hatched to have him killed because of rumors surrounding his very close relationship to the Tsar of Russia and the Tsar's wife. First, his assassins tried to kill him with food laced with cyanide, but it bizarrely had no effect on him. Rasputin asked the conspirators for a drink to wash the food down with. The wine he was handed was also laced, but he drank three glasses of it anyway. Terrified, the conspirators resorted to just shooting Rasputin multiple times in the chest. But after a brief moment, he stood back up, attacked them, and fled to the courtyard of the palace. They continued to shoot at him until a bullet finally struck him in the head. To make sure he was actually dead, the assassins rolled up his body and dumped it into a river. When his remains finally were discovered, one of the many outlandish media claims was that water was found in his lungs as well, suggesting he died by drowning. That's it. Thanks for watching. Which of these unusual deaths surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. I've been Rue, and as always, I'll see you in the next episode. Toodles!